Welcome back to Closing Bell. Oil price is getting a boost as tensions rise between the U.S. and Iran. Joining us now by phone with the energy stocks to watch, Pavel Molchanov, senior vice president and energy analyst at Raymond James. Pavel, thanks for joining us today. In terms of the move higher we've seen in crude, uh, how sustainable is this? And how likely is it that we see some sort of counter reaction from Iran that actually disrupts supply? Well, the key question is indeed whether Iranian retaliation will cause a physical supply disruption. So we have seen this movie before. Last September, of course, Iranian backed um, Houthi groups attacked Saudi oil fields shut down 5 million barrels a day of supply, only temporarily, of course, but that was still uh, the biggest supply disruption in, in almost 30 years. If Iran were to play that card again, you know, we could see a, a repeat of that. The ultimate, of course, would be if Iran were to try blockading the Strait of Hormuz, because one-sixth of the world's oil supply, about 15 million barrels a day, goes through that every single day. Uh, that would be an extreme reaction. It would crush the Iranian economy. Classic example of cutting off their nose to, you know, spite their face. But nonetheless, that, that is in the realm of possibility. To, to, to what extent is that likely versus, uh, versus military response in, in your assessment? It's not likely precisely because it would have the, the effect of crushing Iran's own economy. Iran would be completely cut off from all international trade, oil and otherwise. So it seems a very remote possibility that the Iranians would, would want to pull that, you know, play that card unless their back were well and truly to the wall. You know, more likely tit-for-tat retaliation, perhaps attacking, you know, U.S. bases in Saudi Arabia or Afghanistan or Turkey, you know, some, something along those lines, whether directly or using uh, regional proxy groups controlled by Iran, that would not cause any direct effect on oil supply, uh, but it would certainly keep the geopolitical risk premium elevated for the foreseeable future. Pavel, a question on the actual stocks that could have the most exposure. I mean, are there names, particularly, I guess, among some of the integrated oil majors, that if you see these tensions really begin to ratchet up and you see impact on the actual uh, energy infrastructure in the region, that could really feel the, uh, the effects of that? Well, I mean, the, the obvious one, of course, is Saudi Aramco, which just went public last month on, on the Riyadh exchange. You know, as far as U.S. or European oil companies, they do not typically have significant Middle Eastern exposure. Uh, you know, certainly there are some companies in, in Qatar and Azerbaijan. Uh, but generally speaking, uh, their assets tend to be more Western Hemisphere, Europe, Australia, et cetera. You know, I, I will say this. All of the companies that have oil production outside the Middle East would stand to benefit the longer this risk premium stays high. So Permian Basin or North Sea, uh, Australia, Indonesia, Russia, it really does not matter. The longer this geopolitical tension remains as high as it is, the higher oil prices will will be even without a physical supply outage. Pavel, thanks for joining us.